everyone and welcome back to the series of uh, electromechanical energy conversion practice problems and uh, in this tutorial we will start the first question about synchronous generators so first let's read the question i try to understand what is the meaning of each term so we start with giving the rated voltage of the generator 13.8 kilovolt what is this this is the output terminal voltage of the generator 50 MVA this is your rated output power so 13.8 kV is the line to line voltage 50 MVA is the rated power or S in this in this case 0.9 power factor lagging now as we know that the load will have different power factor so for that specific question the power factor to be considered is 0.9 lagging uh, 60 hertz for pole machine this is uh, a regular uh, or uh, normal uh, quantities for the for the machine that you need to know for example to find the speed as we'll see later on and here we have xs we are giving the synchronous reactance is equal to 2.5 ohm and we are giving the armature resistance as 0.2 ohm now when we are given the armature resistance means that we need to consider it in the in the model now then we are start giving the losses we are giving the friction and windage losses as one megawatt sometimes this is called mechanical losses core losses 1.5 megawatt the field circuit is adjusted using a 120 volt dc the maximum IF, IF current, maximum field current is 10 amps. Now, here you can see that the characteristic of the terminal voltage at no load and the field current. Okay, now this voltage is the line to line voltage. So, this is line to line voltage of the V terminal, which is at no load conditions, it's basically EA. So, basically, this is EA. EA, as we know it, is controlled EA is equal to K omega flux, the internal generated voltage. So the flux is actually coming from IF. IF. So whatever we have here, this characteristic is basically EA. But we cannot measure EA. We can measure only the terminal voltage. At, at normal conditions, both are equal, the EA and vt are are the same okay so now we have a couple of questions we need to answer the first one how much field current is required to make the terminal voltage vt equal to 13.8 at no load conditions so again as i mentioned before when we have the motor the model of the motor this is your ea and this is your vt the terminal voltage this is your xs and this is your ra so when IA equal to zero, your VT and A are equal. So although this characteristic is for EA, it's basically at no load condition is equal to, to VT. So at 13.8 kV, and this is the line to line voltage and the characteristic given line to line voltage. So here's the 13.8 around this point. It doesn't have to be very exact. You go down here. So you see that your IF is approximately your IF is approximately equal to 3.55 amps. Number two, what is the internal voltage at the rated conditions? When we say rated condition, it means that the generator is delivering the rated power, which is S, which is the 50 MVA. So what will be your EA? Again, using the model, your EA using KVL is equal to the VT plus I A R A plus I A times J X S. Now I A is not zero because now we have the rated conditions. So I A I need to calculate it. How about V T? Your V T is equal to the terminal voltage, but this is for single phase. Now since the generator is Y connection, so it's basically the 13.8, the rated voltage divided by root three which is equal to the, the voltage of the, of the phase, okay? Which is equal to 7.967 angle of zero kilovolt. 
So this is your VT in this equation. What is IA? IA basically. Now IA is the armature current or the phase current. Now this is a Y connection. So the phase current is the same as the line current. So it's basically equal to S, which is the 50 times 10 to power 6 divided by root 3 times 13.8 kilovolts, 10 to power 3. And this will give me 2092 amps. Now, what is the angle? We are giving the power factor angle. Now, the power factor is the angle between VT and IA, the phase voltage and the armature current. And since the V terminal voltage is the angle is zero, so basically, and it's a lagging power factor, your IA is equal to 2092 angle of minus cosine inverse of 0.9, and it's equal to 2092 angle of minus 25.8 amp. This is your IA. Now we have all the quantities we want. You find EA, which is equal to VT, 7.967 times 10 to the power 3. It's better to have everything in volt and amp so that you will, you will not have a mismatch in the unit. Angle 0 plus IA, which is 2092 with an angle. You have to have the angle here, minus 25.8. This is times the RA plus JXS, which is the 0.2 plus J 2.5. And when you do the multiplication of this, you will get this is equal to 11,544 angle of 23.1 volt. Part C, what is the phase voltage? When you say V phase voltage, it's the terminal voltage of the phase at rated conditions. We already know that. This is basically this voltage. The V phase or the terminal is equal to that 7.967 kilovolt. It's, it's known already. We already use it in the, in the equation. Let's move on. Part D. How much field current is required? to make VT equal to 13.8 kV when the generator is running at rated conditions. Okay. Now I want to have, so let's, let's draw this here. This is the generator model, EA, and this is VT of the phase. Okay. So this is equal to 13.8 kV over root 3, the phase voltage, because it's a Y connection. The question is, what should be EA to maintain this? Now, from and from that, from the EA, we find IF, because this characteristic is between IF and EA. Only at no low conditions, at no load conditions, the EA and the VT are equal. So basically, we already calculated EA. Okay, the EA, we have it before is equal to from the previous part is equal to 11.544 kV. So EA line to line, because remember, this is line to line would equal to root 3 times 11.544, which is equal to 20 kilovolt. Okay, so at 20 kilovolt, what will be IF? So this is 20 kilovolt, reach here to the end. This is the far, so IF equal to, IF is equal to 10 amps. So basically here, we need to find EA from the KVL, which is done in the previous step, and then use the curve to find your IF. Part E, suppose that the generator was running at the rated conditions, which is this condition. Okay, and we have the load connected here. We have the load connected. The V terminal line to line is 13.8 kV. The EA internally is 20 kilovolt. Okay, then what happened? Then the load is removed. Suddenly the load is removed. Okay, without changing the field current. What does it mean without changing the field current? We know that the EA, basically, as I just mentioned, your EA, is equal to k omega phi 
k is a constant omega the speed is constant and phi is the field coming from the field is also constant so e a will stay the same okay so your e a will stay as line to line as 20 kilovolt so if e a is equal to 20 kilovolt line to line this is line to line then your vt will equal to again 20 kilovolt line to line or equal to 11.544 kilovolt of v terminal of the phase why because now i a at no load condition i a now will equal to zero if i a equal to zero your vt will be equal to e a so in the generator e a is fixed is linked to the field and if i don't touch the field it stays the same then your v terminal will will follow will follow this then it says how much steady state power and torque must the generator prime mover be capable of supplying to handle these conditions in other words what is pn what is the input torque so pn is equal to p out plus summation of all losses p out is equal to s times the power factor s is given to us as 50 mva the power factor is 0.9 this is equal to 45 megawatt this is your p out the losses we have three losses we have the mechanical losses or the friction and windage losses given for losses given then we need to find the cover losses so p cover is equal to 3 i a square times r a so when i a at the rated conditions which is we already know the current so this is equal to 3 we already calculated that from the previous steps 2092 uh, square times r a which is 0 0.2 and this will give me 2.6 megawatt so this is how much is the cover losses then your p n from this will equal to output power 45 megawatt plus winding loss 2.6 megawatt plus mechanical loss is equal to 1 megawatt plus core loss is equal to 1.5 megawatt so these are all the losses that we have and this is the in the output power so your pn was equal to 50.1 megawatt this is how much input power I should deliver by the prime mover so that I get I can get the 45 megawatt output power. Now the torque input times omega is equal to the p input. But what is omega? Omega is the speed. How to find the speed? We need to use the mechanical speed in m, which is equal to the 120 times the electrical frequency divided by the number of poles so this is 120 times 60 divided by 4 and this will give me 1800 so from this your torque input will equal to pn which is 50.1 times 10 to the power 6 divided by your omega which is 1800 times 2 pi over 60 and this will give me a total torque equal to two, 265,800 newton newton meter